Church and the Horry County Police Department want answers after someone desecrated the church's cemetery last week. You're watching WMBF News at 5. I'm Eric Weisfeld. And I'm Rachel Vogel. Our Julia Richardson joins us now live from Sweetwater Branch Baptist Church. And Julia, the police department says more than two dozen headstones were damaged. Rachel, that's right. And while the damage has since been cleaned up, a spokesperson from the Horry County Police Department said 32 headstones were damaged. And it's something the pastor here, who I talked to earlier, never thought he would see in a cemetery like this, especially one he said that he has a personal connection to. The Sweetwater Branch Baptist Church and its cemetery have a rich history dating back to 1893. Many go back there to reminisce and to spend time with their loved ones and just to see the history of the church. But last week, Pastor Charles Mixon got some startling news from the church's groundskeeper. We went back to inspect what had happened. We found the gate was broken and over 40 head mop monuments were turned over. Horry County Police Department posted these pictures on Facebook, asking the community to call in if they have any information. The Post says initial estimates put the cost of damage in the thousands. HCPD declined our request for an interview. Mixon says in the 18 years he has been pastor here, nothing like this has happened, and dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. I have family there, my grandparents are there as well. So um, uh, you have to kind of get past the anger or being upset and just go forward with it and just uh, just have try to have a mindset of peace about it all. Mixon tells me while he doesn't want to get even with whoever's responsible, he wants them to know it will not be tolerated. There are several older churches in this area who have cemeteries and uh, we wouldn't want this to happen to them. Nixon says that the church will be installing motion censored cameras in the back of the of the main building. And if anyone has any information about this incident and wants to help the Horry County Police Department, call the number that you see right now on your screen. Live in Horry County, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.